What's up guys, Apple Helper here, and today I'm showing you how to make a little nightlight. This will cost you about $10 in parts at Radio Shack, or if you already have them at your house, saves you a trip to the store. Alright, so yeah. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can push the subscribe button at the top of the video, or you can go to youtube.com slash the Apple Help R. So, the Apple Helper. Yeah. Alright, so, I'm going to go ahead and go through this. Things you will need. One, a project box. Two, a battery casing. Three, three AAA batteries. Four, an LED. Um, five, a three-eighths drill bit, depending if you get this LED or not. Um, you know, just one that fits your thing. Um, six and drill, and seven is optional, um, which is electrical type. You can use soldering iron and solder if you want. So, yeah. Basically, it's real simple wiring. You just wire the, um, the battery casing to the, um, LED and uh, put tape under the battery casing thing, um, you know, to hold it down, or you can glue it down. It depends if you're planning on taking it apart later or not. So, yeah, real simple. The LED's max volts it says on the page is four volts. I found it can go up to 4.1, but if you go to 4.2 or higher, the LED's about to pop. So you know, you want to make sure your batteries kind of run down a little bit before you put them in there. This will last on average, on my experiment, experimental tests, it lasts around 72 hours. I don't know, it may last more for you, it may last, le may last less. Um, so yeah, this LED will pretty much pop if you go past 4.2 volts. Um, it's stressing it already at 4.2. This right here is right around 4 volts, and this is about as bright as you're going to get it without popping it. Um, so yeah, I put it on three um, regular AAAs and it popped the LED, and I had to get a new one. So, of course, I already had all these things at home, so I didn't have to run to the store to get a new one. I already had one here at the house. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is real simple build just put the three triple A's in the battery casing and wire it to the LED um, the screws on this project box are real hard to get in and out so I found it's easier to just tape it together like I did with the electrical tape because the project box is black it blends in now if you're wanting to turn the light off you can optionally install a switch in the back or just get some cardboard or paper. I got this from a nerd's package. And just slide it in between you know, the batteries. And the lights. If you look, you can see the inside of the LED. Not many people show that in their videos. But with a camera, it's real easy to see the inner makings of an LED. Although I have no clue just yet what that is inside there, I just know it's a diode that emits light, a light emitting diode LED. Um, it seems like that there's like a pad underneath there and then two wires hover above it and create like an electrical spark that lighted up. I really am not sure. I'm not going to say that that's how it works because I don't know. But it's cool that you can actually see that. Anyway, that's if you, you can do that with your eye too. You know, if you just look into the glass thing, you can see that. So yeah. So yeah, if you want to install a switch right here, then the wiring is a bit different. You just take the positive wire and go to one end of the switch and you know the positive lead to the light to the other end you know and then so the red wire 
from the battery pack would go to the switch, and the positive on the LED would go to the switch, and when you switch it on, it would complete the circuit. So, yeah, pretty simple. Um, I'm going to pull it out because I want the LED. I'm testing to see how long this will last. One more time. Like I said, my average is around 72 hours before complete blackout. After about uh, 48 hours, you're going to want to probably change the batteries because it'll get a dim light. It's dim, but it still is on until around 72 hours. I'm going to go ahead and close up my project box once again. There you go. That's how you make your own homemade nightlight. Now, I am going to have more instructional videos like this. But, uh, you know, I'll tell you about that on the way to test this out in a dark room. Show you how bright it is. I'll do a comparison on the wall to the iPhone's camera. Here's the iPhone's LED. And, uh, here's the LED I made. So, let's turn the iPhone off. Turn my phone on. So, this one is actually stronger than the iPhones, and it's focused in more. So, whoa, okay, weird pop-up. All right, let's go in a dark room. Now, like I said, I'm going to have more videos like this later on. Whoa, okay, iPhone camera, light off. All right, I'm in my bathroom with the lights off. I don't know, I can't see anything. I'm going to turn the iPhone camera light on. That's the iPhone camera. Now I'm going to turn the iPhone camera light off and reveal this one. Like I said, this one is more focused. But, it is also more powerful. You can use a lens to spread this out if you want, or a magnifying glass. Yeah. But, yeah. Let's do both of them at once. See, it is more powerful, but it's focused. So, like I said, I'll have more videos like this in the future, but, you know, it's a great emergency light, you know. Alright, so that's it, um, yeah, leave a comment below on, you know, future videos, you know, walkthroughs, builds that you want me to do, um, you know, if there's a project you're wanting me. to do then I will so yeah just leave in the comment any projects like this you want me to do um, I do want to make a shout out um, thank you Kip K you've got me started in all these build in building stuff and uh, I mean I've always done this with my dad but you know now this is really something I like doing in my spare time you just need something to work on um, so yeah about 10 bucks at Radio Shack and this will last a long time. Very bright. In fact, if you look up here above my finger, you'll see kind of like a hologram of the light. And again, right here, even though the light's not there, it looks like it. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up before I hit the 10 minute mark, because 10 minute videos take a long time to upload to YouTube. And I hate waiting. I end up canceling. I actually make a lot more videos than you're actually seeing. Um, I just never take the time to upload them. I've actually made one, and I think I'm going to upload it with this one. Of After the sh after my shower, um, I showed how when you open up the two doors in my bathroom, open up the one cutting off the shower from the sink area, you can actually see... The mirror fogging up at an extremely fast pace. So, um, you know, instead of having to be in the shower and wait on the air to build up, all the hot air from here comes in with the cold air and fogs up the mirror. So, yeah. I don't know if I'm even going to upload that one because it was kind of weird. I mean, really, how many people make a video right after they get out of a shower with the towel wrapped around them? Not necessarily the most normal video in the world. So, yeah. I'm hitting the 10 minute mark right now, so peace out guys.
see you in the next video.